Last day in Hawaii. No. Ooh. Ooh. You guys sad to leave? Yeah. That's got to be very stale popcorn. You sad to leave, Nicholas? Yes? Hello? Nicholas. Walking to the secret beach in Koalina. Gorgeous. See if we can find some sea turtles, some fishies. He's in a bad mood. Got that on video. Evidence. Video evidence. To be used against you in court. Donald for the win. Mac and cheese. Cool, right? Very cool. Oh, I love that movie. Uh, And then one is in our view.
beautiful northern valley out here. Now, um, usually one of the first questions out here, is there anything filming on the ranch? And the answer is no. You got to look to your left. Behind our buildings, that beautiful mountain. That is where we get our name, Kualoa. In the Hawaiian language, Kualoa means long back. So some people think the original line above us resembles the back of a giant lizard. The left hand corner, that is the tallest peak on the front part of the ranch. The name of that, Kanihoa Lining, is about 1900 feet at the very top. Now all the property in front are originally owned by King Kamehameha III. In 1828, Dr. Garrett Judd came here from Massachusetts to provide medical care for the Hawaiian people. He actually fell off away, renounced his U.S. citizenship, and became a subject to the king. Dr. Judd became such a trusted advisor that in 1850, the king sold him the first part of the property here, approximately 622 acres. Down to the right, the arrow plant shortly after the military left. They're called monkey pod tree. They get the name from the seed. That seed curls up, it looks like a monkey's tail. That's where the name monkey pod so. comes from. These are all planted for the shade of the cattle and the horses on the ranch. We had our ballistic missile scare. What happened at 807? On a Saturday morning in January, everybody in Hawaii got a text message that read, Incoming ballistic missile. Take shelter immediately. This is not a drill. Well, I was here working that day. Uh, after about three minutes of being in shock, I went home, picked up my wife, my two daughters, and I went to the bunker right there and shut the door. Yeah, I sure can focus on you, buddy. What do you want to say? More. They're going to come pick you up. Okay. They're going to come pick these guys up. That was Nicholas. Oh, they got caught. During the summertime, the water's so flat up in uh, Waikato that they can't even get to the water. They're so far down the tournaments up there. So there's lots and lots of cool things that happen up there. Now, you look over to the right, you see some of the houses out there as well. Quite a few of the family members still work Oops, on the ranch today. Say. Uh, so if you want to live and work on this in side this of the island, valley, yeah. this is one of the yeah. bigger employers. Now this valley right now is known as the Ka'a'ava Valley. It's spelled K-A-A-A-W-A. -A -A. There's so many A's in our name, we're almost Canadian. A creation. Still very, very heavy. If you ever get a chance, just go on YouTube, put in Walking with Giants, and there's about a 10 minute clip of how they move this moai right here. Top of them. Up on my left is what we like to call the most famous bed tree in Hawaii. So we don't stop here anymore on the tour, but I will pull up here and pause long enough for everybody to get pictures. We have another stop reserved for this tour now. Uh, but if the tree looks different to you guys, it's been 27, 28 years. So yeah, it does look different because of people, weather, cows, all kinds of things. 
uh, but it is the original filming location. Now, for you guys that are going to go back and watch this movie now, because I know some of you guys are going to go watch it now, this scene right here is less than two minutes long. When Hawaii started to open a little bit more to tourism uh, and to filming, Disney We're supposed to be Costa Rica, Mighty Joe Young, or Africa, Triple, Fr uh, Triple Frontier, or South America. So very rarely are we Hawaii, and even more rare are we actually Poor Lower Ranch. Was torn down after they were done filming the movie. Now, uh, up on my right, you see, that's another movie I'd lucky to be around. Chris Pratt, he's the star of that one, right? He's the second nicest actor I've met out here, so super cool guy as well. Now, luckily it's not raining on you guys. Typically, this valley here, about 80 to 90 inches of rain throughout the entire year. Yeah. 